Lieutenant General Javed Nasir, Urdu, B1936-112, Hi, M, SBT, PEC, is a retired engineering officer in the Pakistan Army Corps of Engineers, who served as the Director General of the Inter-Services Intelligence, ISI, appointed on March 14, 1992 until being forcefully removed from this assignment on May 13, 1993. An educator and engineer by profession, Nasir gained national prominence as his role of bringing the unscattered mass of Afghan Mujahideen to agree to the power-sharing formula to form Afghan administration under President Mohadidi in Afghanistan in 1992-93. Later, he played an influential and decisive role in the Bosnian War when he oversaw the covered military intelligence program to support the Bosnian army against the Serbs while airlifting the thousands of Bosnian refugees in Pakistan. Biography Javed Nasir was born in Lahore, Punjab in India in 1936-112-834 and is of the Kashmiri descent 148-169 after his matriculation from local school in Lahore. Nasir joined the Pakistan Army and entered in the Pakistan Military Academy at Kakal in 1953-26 he decided to attend the Military College of Engineering at Raisalpur in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, and graduated with B.S. with honours in Civil Engineering in 1958. He gained commissioned as 2nd LT in the Corps of Engineers of the Pakistan Army where his career is mostly spent. In 1967, Nasir qualified as a licensed professional engineer, P, by the Pakistan Engineering Council, PEC, .834. He was known to have served in the combat engineering formations during the Second War with India in 1965 as Army Captain, and later served in the Western Front of the Third War with India in 1971 as Major 372-373-834. After the Third War with India in 1971, Major Nasir went to Australia where he attended and graduated in staff course from the Australian Army Staff College 19 in 1980s, he was sent to attend the National Defence University, NDU, in Islamabad, and graduated with MSc in Strategic Studies. In 1983-90, Major General Nasir joined the faculty of the Armed Forces War College of the National Defence University, NDU, which he instructed courses on war studies for seven years, eventually promoted as Chief Instructor 62 59. In the military circles, Majgen Nasir was described as a moderate person who rediscovered the Islam in 1986 during the midst of the Russian war in the neighboring Afghanistan 148-149 in 1988, Majgen Nasir gained public fame when he was appointed as Inspector General of Engineering Formation that investigated the environmental disaster befall at the military storage located in the Rawalpindi Cantonment. Against the United States German and French military estimation, Majgen Nasir personally led his formation at the ground to clear out the entire storage containing the chemical and explosive materials, as well as the missile ordnance in mere two weeks 112-113. In 1989, he was appointed as Director General of Frontier Works Organization, FWO and supervised the civil construction of the Skardu International Airport that is 11,944 feet, 3,641 m, above sea level 112 on September 24, 1991, Majgen Nasir was promoted as a three-star rank army general, having appointed to command the Corps of Engineers as its NNC at the Army GHQ in Rawalpindi. On February 4, 1992, Lieutenant General Nasir was then posted as the chairman of the Pakistan Ordnance Factories at Wa in Punjab, Pakistan, until being appointed as the Director General of the Inter-Services Intelligence, ISI. Director of ISI, 1992-93 On March 14, 1992, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif appointed L.T. Gen Nasir as the Director General of the Inter-Services Intelligence. ISI, against the recommendations and wishes of General Asif Nawaz, 
then Chief of Army Staff, COAS. 366 The appointment was seen a political motive for Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif since General Nasir had no experience in the intelligence gathering network and was virtually a ghost in country's intelligence community 365-366-76 At that time, Prime Minister Sharif had family relations with LT Gen Nasir Javed, and knew him very well 169. In the military, he was of the view of anti-American sentiments, accusing the United States of using the Islam for political reasons and against Russians in Europe, which further complicated the foreign relations between two nations. 14 He also limited the cooperation between the ISI and CIA to fight against the global terrorism, thwarting any joint efforts to fight against extremism. 14 52 Though he did help the U.S. to relocate and retrieve the missing guided missiles from Afghanistan based on a mutual understanding of such weapons may have fall in wrong hands. It was during this time when ISI had been running an intensified support for insurgency in Indian Kashmir 6 in spite of his seniority in the military, Nasir was overlooked and was never considered for the promotion of the four-star rank and appointment by the government during the appointment process for the command of the army, the chief of army staff, COAS. LT Gen Nasir was among the five senior and superseding army generals when the junior most LT Gen Abdul Wahid Kaker was elevated to the four-star rank and promotion to command the army. Peshawar Accord and Mohadidi Administration on April 1992, LT Gen Nasir became an international figure when he played major role in amalgamating the unscattered Afghan Mujahideen groups when the power-sharing formula was drafted. Due to his religiosity, Nasir used his persuasive power and motivational talks to agree to power-sharing formula and, witnessed to have successfully establishing an Afghan administration under cleric President Sibgatullah Mohadidi in Kabul. Bosnian War In the military and political circles, Nasir was had reputation to be a practicing Muslim who would not compromise on the interests of Islam and Pakistan. In 1992-93, Nasir defied the UN arms embargo placed on Bosnia and Herzegovina when he successfully airlifted the POF's sophisticated anti-tank guided missiles which ultimately turned the tide in favor of Bosnian Muslims and forced the Serbs to life the siege much to the annoyance of the U.S. government. While airlifting sophisticated anti-tank guided missiles to Bosnian Muslims, he pushed the government of Pakistan to allow the Bosnian immigration to Pakistan. In 2011, the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia demanded the custody of the former ISI director for his alleged support of the inter-services intelligence activities in Bosnia and Herzegovina to Muslim fighters of Bosnia against the Serbian army in the 1990s, the government of Pakistan has refused to hand Nasir to the UN tribunal, citing poor health. Removal from the ISI In 1993, LT Gen Nasir's zealous religiosity and maverick actions became embarrassing for the Pakistani military, in which, the Chairman Joint Chiefs General Shamim Alam had completely lost the control of the ISI when the agency was running under Nasir's command 26 General Abdul Wahid Kaker, the Army Chief at that time, had been at odds with LT Gen Nasir due to his preaching of Islamic tradition in the military. In the views of senior military officers in the Pakistani military and the civilian officials of the Ministry of Defense, LT Gen Nasir was often a figure of fun whose intellect was far from being as outstanding as his white beard contents. During this time, the Indian government led by Prime Minister P. V. Narasimha Rao leveled several accusations on him of supporting the Khalistan movement the Indian Mafia and Dawood Ibrahim the accusations he swiftly denied in 2008 26-27 at home, Nasir began facing accusation from Pakistan People's Party politicians of supporting the conservative Islamic agenda in the country. In 1993, 
the United States formally registered their complaints to Pakistan when U.S. Secretary of State James Baker written a memo to Prime Minister Sharif of putting his country on a terror watch list and was in danger of being listed as terror supporting nation 27-28 responding to the complaint. Prime Minister Sharif used diplomacy when he sent his Foreign Secretary Sharai Arkhan and Pakistan Senator Akram Zaki to United States of assuring Pakistan's policy of not supporting the militancy in the region 27-28. During this time, several Arab countries such as Egypt, Tunisia, Algeria, and the Philippines, lodged a strong protest against Nasir of supporting the radical movements in their respected countries 152. Following the resignations of Prime Minister Sharif and President G.I. Khan on July 18, 1993, the caretaker Prime Minister M.A. Qureshi fired and sacked Nasir from the directorship of the ISI, and acting President Wasim Sajid approved his premature retirement from his military commission effective from on May 13, 1993 170 he only led the ISI for 13 months 44. Upon his firing, the new DGISI, J.A. Qazi eventually led the massive arrests of thousands of Arab Afghans and forced the Al-Qaeda to relocate itself in Afghanistan permanently 147-149 expulsion from Pakistan, many escaped to Bosnia to participate in the war 149 according to many political commentators and journalists, Nasir's firing from ISI was not at the behest of the United States but it was the friendly Arab countries' protests and pressure at the Organization of Islamic Cooperation OIC, that resulted in his departure from ISI and the retirement from his 40-year-long service with the military 170. Later Life After his premature retirement, Nasir became a missionary for a tablai jamaat and went to the private sector when he managed and chaired the private equity firm and hedge fund the Evacuee Trust Property Board, ETPB, when he was appointed on July 14, 1997 for a two-year contract 171 contents. In 1998, he was appointed as chairman of Sikh Gurdwara Prabandhak Committee, a pro-Sikhism organization in Pakistan promoting the religious activities of Sikhism 408 on October 1998. Prime Minister Sharif appointed him as his intelligence advisor but this appointment remained for short period of time 408 for some times, he served on the security details as head of security for the Sharif family, but the PML, N, S lawmakers and Sharif family cut off their links and distanced themselves from Nasir. After the 9-11th terrorist attacks in the United States in 2001. In 2002 Nasir filed a lawsuit at the Anti-Terrorism Court against the media corporations, the Daily Jang, and the News International, for character defamation when investigative articles published on him on the monetary embezzlement when he managed the private hedge fund in Lahore. In 2008, he appeared on the Geo News and denied any allegations of terror supporting that was leveled on him during his time as director ISI, when interviewed by Iftikhar Ahmed. At this detailed and hour-long interview, he was of the view of 9-11s was an inside job, and maintained on his stance on the suppressing of the free energy by the U.S. and Pakistan government. In 2011, the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia demanded the custody of the Nasir for his alleged authorization of the covered program to support to the Bosnian army against the Serbian army in the 1990s. The government of Pakistan refused to hand Nasir to the UN tribunal, citing poor health and memory loss due to a road accident. In 2013, Nasir reportedly spoke against Afghan Taliban and the terrorism at the Supreme Court Convention, and criticized the Taliban as an armed violent group and criticized them of supporting the violent terrorism for their cause, in a response to the church bombing. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.